Hello everyone, my name is Valeria, and my mom told me that before I was born, she carefully chose a name that represents bravery and courage. At first, she couldn't decide between Valentina and Valeria, and because my mom is a teacher, as you all may know, she connects the names to her students, and finally, she decided to name me Valeria, like one of her most intelligent students in class. Anyways, both names come from the Latin word vale, which means being healthy, strong, and brave. Well, guess what? I am healthy, and I consider myself a strong girl. But Brady, um, let me tell you my story and you will decide. Today, I want to share with you my experiences and relationship with fear. But first, I want to take you on a journey to the past, your past. So please, close your eyes for a moment. And think about the time when you were a kid, or maybe a teenager, and you were really, really scared. Maybe, think about the first time you had to give that oral presentation or the competition day that you had been training so hard for. Now, think about how you felt. Were you nervous? Were you sweating on your forehead? Were your hands shaking? Did you start to speak but the words did not come out? Did you have an upset stomach? Or did you just turn around and run away crying? And now, think about why you felt like that. There is one short but powerful word that describes the reason, and that word is fear, or for the more specifics, fear of failure. About four years ago, there was a summer camp of roller skating in my school, and all my friends and I joined the classes. After some time, my friends did not continue going to the skating classes, but I decided to keep on. Then, my school did not continue offering this sport anymore, so I had to go training in another academy. The first time I put on my roller skates was my first encounter with fear. I didn't want to fall over and harm myself, but with a lot of practice, I did it. I could roller skate. Then, competition started. A fear came to knock my door again. It was my first competition in an old park because the venue was public and free of charge. The floor was filled with too many holes. I remember I was very nervous. I was only seven and all people were looking at me. There were two important people next to me. To the left, my coach, telling me that I had to go there and show the judges what I have learned. And to the right, my mom, telling me that I have to go there and have fun, and if I fail, stand up and continue, and pretend nobody saw it. And that's exactly what I did. I started with my routine, and a few seconds later, I fell in a very big hole, but I stand up and continue and pretend nobody saw it. But then, all people were clapping at me, and in that moment was one of my best experiences of, the, of my life. Later on, many competitions came up, and a lot of fun with them. I have won and I have lost, but in all competitions, they give us a medal just for participating. But because we live in a competitive society, most parents just recognize their children for results and not for the effort. And as Amy Morin, a social worker, says, praising your team for achievement can backfire. And this is because you can send the wrong message to your child, telling them that you just love them when they got good results. That's why it is important to talk to your children about failure and emotions related to it, such as shame, embarrassment, guilt, sadness, or even anger. All these ones, I know them pretty well. However, a couple of months ago, I decided to stop skating because I thought I was not making progress and I did not feel passionate about it anymore. And this is one of the reasons why you can fail in something. Sometimes we pursue something we are not passionate about. I'm still not sure if I fail or not, but I took a stand and decided I wanted to try singing instead. I have always loved music and singing, but guess what? I am too shy to sing in public. I can sing in the shower, I can sing when I am alone in my room, and sometimes when my, when my mom is around. So there comes, there comes fear again, fear of failure. This year has been a year with new things. In my case, I have changed schools, and this new thing comes with a little bit of fear. I have fear of not making new friends, and I have fear of not understand the way that work in this school. 
All these things have happened so fast, but I have realized that they have made me stronger. Now, I, I remember all times I fell when I was roller skating, and, be, and all times I got up, I became stronger. I still don't know if I am brave or not, but what I do know is that now I am more resilient, grateful, and patient. Fear and failure are inevitable, and that is something parents should teach to their children. Do not avoid the hardships or obstacles to your kid. Let them fail and let them stand by themselves and become stronger. Let them make mistakes and take responsibility for their actions and decisions. Teach them to not fear failure. And remember, if you fail, never give up, because fail means first attempt in learning. Thank you.